Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really, really well today. I'm coming to you today with another unboxing video. And this one actually arrived the same day as my Penny Dreadful Tarot, but I've saved it until now to do a separate unboxing video. And I'm very, very excited about this one. I have actually been wanting to work with some kind of an oracle deck um, associated with colour and colour energy for quite a while now, but I never really found the right one. There's a few out there, but um, none of them really resonated for me until now. And it was kind of the same thing with my chakra cards. I wanted to work with some kind of an oracle deck that worked with chakra energy for a while, but until I found my chakra cards, none of them really clicked, and then I, f I found my chakra cards, and I just knew that they were right for me. And as soon as I saw this one online, um, I straight away knew that I had to have it, and it is... The Color Mage Oracle by Bernard Charles, The Color Mage. And um, he posted about it on YouTube Pagans, the Facebook page, and um, I saw it and I participated in his campaign for, I can't remember what it was called, but it was a, a campaign where you share um, the deck. So I did that um, on Twitter and uh, I think Tumblr. I didn't do it on um, Facebook because I'm just a little bit more in the broom closet on Facebook. It's just the way it is. But... Um, yeah, so I shared it, and then I just started following uh, Bernard Charles everywhere on social media. I started following him on Instagram, Facebook, um, YouTube, and I signed up his email newsletter so that when this deck was available, I would find out straight away. Um, and he only um, releases it in small batches so that he can bless them and make sure that the energy is right and all that sort of thing. He doesn't mass produce it. So if you um, want to get this deck, <clears throat> pardon me, you'll have to just do what I did and start following Bernard everywhere and sign up for his email newsletter so that you know when it's available. Um, yeah, and Bernard Charles, um, he is the colour mage. Um, he works with colour energy, he does colour readings, and um, he's also a Young Living uh, Essential Oils distributor, so he's fabulous. And I just, ah, oh, I'm so excited. I'm going to open this already. And this is why I don't do unboxings very often, because I'm just too excitable. <laughs> I'm like a, a little dog that wants to run around and yap and lick everyone's faces. Got to get my scissors in there. my name written on it. Oh, I don't know if you can see that gem out there it is. So that's the backing of the card and I really love how it's um, a paint palette that just really um, expresses that creativity and that whole, um, you know, creation and manifestation and all that great stuff. And I might just try to get the cards open from this little tear in the plastic here. Oh no, I might do it from this corner. <laughs> so um, yeah, a little bit more information about this deck just um, because I forgot because I was too excited. But um, it's a 70 card deck and um, there are 10 cards for each chakra. So for each chakra energy you've got 10 different cards. So um, this is burgundy, that would be the root chakra. And as you can see there's no illustration on the um, cards or any kind of image at all. There's just um, the plain colour and then you've got the name of the um, colour and then a few keywords. So this one is burgundy, passions and sex. Red Merlot, relationships. Scarlet, Success and Fortune. Oh, this is great. I can really tell that I'm going to love working with these already. Ruby Rose, Loving Your Soul Path. That's beautiful. So I won't show all the cards because I know some of you like a surprise. So yeah, there's 10 red cards. 
and then um, yeah, you've got your yellows for the sacral chakra or your oranges for the sacral chakra rather. So this is snuggle, natural touch, light apricot, release your fears, dark apricot, find the humor. I like this. This is really cool. Peach, open certainty. Tangerine, anticipation and excitement. So these are going to be really great to work with. Um, because, you know, there's different colour systems out there for colour reading and colour therapy and that kind of thing. But I find that with colour, everybody's got their own relationship to colour. So different colours will mean different things to you at different times. And... Um, it's very open to individual interpretation and that's what I love about it. Then we've got Desert Sand, Awaken Your Creativity. And then you've got your yellows for the solar plexus. So that's yellow sand. Uh, give it time. Oh, okay. Yep. Oh, Firefly, Illumination. It's just a little bit hard to read this little keyword here on some of the yellow ones. Gold, abundance. Whoops, I'm dropping them. I'll just leave it for now. Sunflower, expansion, a new opportunity. So yeah, 10 cards for each um, chakra. And then you've got your green for the heart chakra. So we've got pale lime, gentle healing. Sorry, I don't know how well you can see that. Oh yeah, there you go. I just turned it on the side there. Luna Moth, Goddess Ishtar and Fertility. Oh, that's beautiful. I love that. Mint, Decisive Action. It's a beautiful shade of mint. Chalkboard, Develop Your Destiny. <laughs> it's real that um, creative force that comes with the heart chakra when the heart is open and you really can manifest really well. Jade, act now. Oh, okay. So I see what he's done for the heart chakra. You've got some green there and then you've actually also got pink uh, for the heart chakra, which I'm very um, open to. I know for some people heart chakra energy is green and for other people it's pink. For me, I feel I resonate with a bit of both. Like I feel that there is a um, there's the heart chakra that is for receiving love, and then there's the heart chakra energy for giving love. It's kind of like how you see um, a lotus or a rose, and they grow in the ground, and they've got um, that green energy that that pulls up the nutrients, and then the green um, plants, um, you know have chl uh, chlorophyll to photosynthesize their energy from the sun and then you've got the flower that opens and that's giving and expanding and um yeah giving to people so that's really beautiful and that's how I kind of relate to heart chakra energy so for me it is both green and pink for that reason and you've got pale pink there gentle love oh dusty rose your love has aged Ooh, dusty rose is one of my favorite shades I love that Cotton candy, make a wish. Lotus pink, goddess Kuan Yin and mercy. Oh, so some of them relate to goddess energy. I love that. That's beautiful. Damascus, self-love. Very important. Then we've got our blue for throat chakra. And you've got lapis lazuli or lapis lazuli. Embrace self-respect. Sapphire, Regenerate Community. Magi, ooh, I like that. Some of these have good names. Reconcile Differences, I love that. Uh, sky Blue, Express More Magic. I can tell I'm going to love working with these already. Not just for readings, but for meditation. So there we've got Neptune, Voice of Your Music. I love that. And then we've got the purple, which I guess would be um, throat chakra energy. Oh no, sorry, um, third eye and crown. So we've got grape, intoxication and stupor. Ooh. <laughs> Wise owl, inner wisdom and foresight. 
Indigo Clairvoyance. Shapeshift, Myth and Magic. I love that. Mauve, Emotional Flexibility. An orchid, raise your vibration. So that's all the cards that I've just been through. And I'm just loving this deck already. I can tell I'm really going to love working with it. So, um, yeah, if you would like a copy of this deck, I don't know when it's going to be available again. You'll just have to do what I did and follow Bernard everywhere until you find out when it's available. But um, thank you, Bernard, for sending me these cards. They are absolutely beautiful. And I cannot wait to start working with them. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and got something out of it. And I will see you next time. Okay, bye.